we'll see. <laughs> All, right. All right, though. Picking they're it up. Oh, wait, no, they're not. They're going right into yep. it. Okay. Going, going right into up, it. But we don't uh, need it. Good conversion <laughs> on Lucina at low percent, although Squirtle very much known for these low conversions, especially off the of throw. Is he dead already? He's, oh, he's dead he's, already. He's dead. He's dead oh already. Oh, God. Let me check my watch real quick. Uh, less holy, than 20 seconds. Holy moly. 18, 18 Jesus seconds. Jesus Christ. Uh, my, man, my man wishes is trying to make this man DOA. All right. So now here's the thing, right? That is a big play for right. Oh, I, I thought I said again. <laughs> I swear. Same here. That was like right at the tip of up B. Um, so that's discouraging to start out on the set, but you can still absolutely come back from this. We'll see. Uh, that was how a perfect switch timing right there by, by Wishes to take that first stock. Super, super. And Nair instead of Dare to opt for it. Yes. Nair is also it, incredible. Yes. Gimping. People don't realize that Ivy can go deep.com. Yes. And that's the thing. When you're looking for the dare, because dare is the meme, right? Dare is like, oh, man, I'm going to be hit by the solar beam. I'm going to be hit by the freaking the, the sun coming down on me. <laughs> and then he comes down with Nair, just shoots you out. You've already burned yourself. You're fine. I don't need anything else now. All right. Still getting a decent amount of percent here. Oh, actually doesn't get. Oh, good tech, but he gets but PS2. It. The lip, yeah. The lip of the stage kind of messing him up All right. on his own term turf. So I, I, yeah, I figured he switched to Ivy here just to take the stock. I don't see Charizard coming out too yet. He's, he's very systematic with what... He, he seems to know when exactly he needs to switch to what character. Yeah, in this situation, he definitely switches to Zard. Yep. His Zard has, is, is the stock taker. Yes. Now, the thing is, is that although Zard is known for taking the stocks, I wonder if it's the correct choice right now. <laughs> oh, you can't hit that! That's not how that works! That's right, baby. You gotta shield it. You gotta respect it. Yep, absolutely. As dumb of a move it is, you have to respect it. That's the thing. See... Unpredictability. You were talking about being unpredictable with your character choices. Right. Unpredictability is such a big deal. Charizard, even if you think, man, I know the Flare Blitz is coming. I know that Up Smash is coming. You will still get hit You'll by still it. Get hit by it sometimes it just happens. If you're in the air, you will get hit by it. You have to be grounded. You have to be shielding. And you have to respect it. Yep, absolutely. All right, so lower percent CL wishes just opposite to Charizard. And thanks, uh, Squirtle, rather. And opts to get these pokes out with the F-Tilt. That's what he's going to be starting off most of his damage with. And then mid percent, so he'll be switching to Ivy, doing Vine yep. Whip, and Tries hopefully choosing a kill at like 80. Ooh. Yeah, okay. so he tried to chase with that one. That was actually a really good chase. Normally when you see people go for the up B right that and miss, they normally don't chase down. But he saw the air dodge and was ready to like, yeah, let me see if I can get an early stock here. End this game out early, go to game two. Okay, opting oh. back to Squirtle just to get those whiff punishes now that he's regained center stage. Yep. Just an Ivy. Yeah. Very nice. That is a punishable landing with Razor Leaf right there. You have to scope out when Ivy Sword lands on you with Razor Leaf because that's the time you want to get your aggression in. Oh, wow, that seed bomb didn't hit. That's crazy. Chasing right. it. Yep. Laid on borrowed time right now, trying to figure this one out. Yep. He's actually made it back quite well, considering he got zero to death. He's sitting on the same stock right now, and he does have rage working out for him, although Charizard is one heavy boy. <gasps> he could. He's going super deep for these Dolphin Slashes as well. Wow, try to get the reverse hit to make sure put, uh, to possibly put Wishes into an untackable situation. Ooh, Ooh, this is scary. Yeah. Wake up DP out of shield, bro. Yep. Sometimes you need to do it. Yeah, what a comeback. Yeah. Lay, what a comeback. That was, he was at immediate deficit from the start of it, and he was just able to s siphon these stocks off of Wishes by hanging on for dear life and not getting another early gimp. Lane's adaptability is, is something to behold, honestly. It's really, really good. And he was doing a really good job, and you saw the couple other times that he got him off stage right. He was looking for those early kills with Ivysaur. He's right. like, let me let me test fade a little bit on this right. one. And he was mixing it up. He was like, okay, let me chase down the air dodge with the nair. Let me chase down with the down air. And he just wasn't quite finding them every mm -hmm. time. It's hard to get Lucina, a character who's who's known to recover from really, really deep. But Wishes will, will damn well try. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I thought hopping back into it, running it back. I, I, I didn't, it wasn't really the stage that was wrong. It, it's just that it, crucial decisions made by Wishes kind of ended up losing oh. him stage control. That could have been really big. That could've honestly could have been a zero to death in reverse right there. Yeah, for real. All right, lands with Falling. I, that was Falling Dare. I don't normally see combos yeah, that his, Falling his Dare. His usage of, of Sour Spot Dare is actually amazing. He, he's able to somehow finesse a combo out of it every single time. Ra Ra Laid likes to describe himself as the most ratchet Lucina because all of his options are very, very unorthodox. Yes. And he, they work. He makes and them work. He's making it work right now. Speaking of finesse, he hasn't taken, well, there's the percent. But he hadn't taken the percent that whole time. Nearly 40 seconds of just going oh. untouched and parking on 100%. Uh, 
Although now it's looking really deadly. Speaking of the percent, where did that come from? Ooh. Being so being in the air against Ivy is is almost a death wish because it, it's yes. almost impossible to come down most of the time. Up air, up the multi hit in air. It, there's a lot of options. <laughs> he just keeps yeah. stalling with it. I don't know how many times you can stall with that before you can't grab. I think it's like five. Uh yeah, it's five re grabs yeah. before you're touching the ground where you just fall through. Wow, uh, that was smart. Yeah. So, oh my that god, was intelligent. Why? That seems <laughs> that seems derp as all hell, but that was actually mad. That was sick. Yeah, that was really good. His, his, oh, oh but he do it right back right to him. Do it right back to him. Do it right back. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it, welcome to GTN, guys. This, 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 this is definitely set to behold. Right. That was really smart. Lade showing. Okay, that's cool. But I could just I have a move. That's cute. You did it with two moves. I'll do it with one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Very nice. Sees right when he's spot dodging. Oh, hey, Squirtle's going to get a combo off on me. Let me up the... Squirtle excels at, at pressing lots of buttons and getting those early, early combos, but they're not true. If you have a quick enough option like Dolphin Slash to get you out of there, yes. it's definitely in your best interest to use it. Absolutely. Going back over to Ivysaur here. Going to play a little bit more in the mid-range. He's got the stage. I'm loving these cross-up back airs by Wishes right now, just keeping behind. Lucina doesn't really have a lot of options out of shield, despite the odds. Uh, more so just Dolphin Slash, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Dolphin Slash is good, um, but reversing it out of shield is kind of awkward, and that Whoa. hits a lot of ledge get-up options. It's actually really deceptive how good that is to do. That's smash, yeah, for sure. Yes. Um, Thing is, though, it puts you in perfect grab range uh, when you do it, despite how far Ivysaur reels forward. Yes, because he's got the uh, vines out as well. Wow, he can make it Yo! back from that deep. That's cool. That must have been like max life. I hope so. I refuse to believe that that move. That tether is crazy. It's great. It's, nice. it's such a great move. As we get up, got the Charizard coming out once again. At the finicky percent, you definitely want to switch See, Charizard. He, he was looking for the jump. He's like, yeah, let me get this up flash. You, you right. trade survivability for being an easier target. Yeah. Wow, the Thundercats you just whip it out right easy there. Target. He was like, eh, roll, roll to me. Roll, roll come to me. I want this kill. Can we go to the <laughs> next stock? That's going to be very nice. And Lade's still playing this very chill, despite the fact that he's gotten hit with some nonsense. He got hit with a zero to death to start. He got hit with the Charizard Shield Break, which was a very smart setup from Wishes. And um, he's cleaning up right now. He's been waiting quite a bit. Every time he switches to Charizard, Lade has been taking full advantage of it, just keeping him up. And yeah, that being said, though, that jump going to get nicked by that up smash right there. Yep, that is the call out. Okay, yeah, that's it first. And see, it puts him just out of grab range, so he can't really get anything off of it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Baits it out oh, once again, goes for the down dare. air. We talked about how much falling dare has been working to Lade's advantage this entire set. Yes, it, it's it's been working to great effect, and I very rarely see it because everyone uh, touts falling up air. Absolutely, absolutely. So falling down air also nice because it puts the disjoint under you, so less right. of a chance for you to get challenged. I mean, not too great a chance because you have to hit with it low. But still nice to have the coverage. Oh, that's it! Yeah, Nair being very, very powerful catching ledge. I don't know if we're gonna see a switch here from Wishes. It's a good switch. Oh, I mean we This will be a massive upset also if this if this happens. You think will it? I yeah. think so. Wishes is pretty much around the realm of a of a top thirty to twenty player. Late is I believe over fifty right now, in terms of at least looking at the most recent Orion rank plus a couple of the recent results. Wish has been the ninth place master lately. Yes. Is he going to switch to Joker? He's deciding. We'll see. I could see Joker working out for him in this matchup, but I think Inkling. both. Okay. This, okay. this is actually a great choice on his part. It allows him to weave in and out mm -hmm. and not get abused so much in his hurt boxes. He can recover from deep without worrying too much about late chasing him. Now, here's the thing about that, though. Although his recovery is a bit better and his movement is a bit sleeker now, he does suffer more readily at disjoints. Um, yeah, Ivysaur, Ivysaur, he was able to land a lot more easily, I think, on late. And I think now we'll potentially see some more spacing out. But late right now, stuck on the ledge and having to deal with all these hitboxes and all this ink. He's also got a little less kill power in tandem with that. But it's coupled yes. with a really, really safe neutral. Yes. Uh, Inkling neutral can absolutely be played. Uh, not to call it lame, but super lame if yeah, you want. If you want, if you, yeah. if you want to box you know. out with back air all day, you can. You don't got to be modest about it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good chase with the jab lock. Chases it again. A little greedy on that one. So you can already see like Inkling's Inkling's dash dance just being a great hurt box shifter right there. Lade can't get as much as he wants in the air because Inkling just schmoves. Yes, absolutely. Uh, going deep off to chase that. He's not letting the fact that Inkling goes low and recovers quickly stop him from going for the edge guard. Hey, he that. made that. He made yes. that chart. He knows those percents for that move. Oh, yeah, that's right. There is a very specific percent where that that's does right. connect and does kill. I yep. completely forgot about that. I thought that was just bad DI. Uh, it's called the Booyah, as I like to term it. Yeah, the Booyah. It. And Wishes is actually one of the people that worked on the main chart and labbed out most of the percentages for it. I like that he ended the early jab 
right there yeah. instead of keep going. Because after, I believe, 12 hits, on you, you can yeah. roll behind. You can roll behind. Although it does get a little iffy depending on where in the jab you are when you get hit. Had to drop shield there if you wanted to face a shield break or even a shield poke. But, right. you know, that was more or less a checkmate percent. I don't know if side B can really shield break that potently. I don't know how much shield damage it possibly does. Uh, the last hit actually does do a decent amount of wow. shield damage. Um, speaking of damage, just Flat Bomb has been acting as almost a striker for Wishes is and kind of extending his combo game right here. He footstooled off the up air before the sword came out and That's got wild. out of the way. That's, That's crazy. Wild. I've never seen that happen. Micro interactions in this game are crazy. Absolutely. All right, going to back throw him off. Inkling still struggling to kill, though. He's going to try to look for something here, but he's got to find a stray hit somewhere. I like how he's been using Splat Bomb a lot to set up these frame traps so much. Blade has been tending to drift in a bit rather than hanging over the ledge. Ooh, and good attack. tech! Didn't need to tech that one. One more. And yep. he makes it back. Excellent drift back right there. Yep. Hang over the ledge. So even though he doesn't get the edge guard, sitting at 162 right now, looking like he might lose the stock first. He's getting this extra percent that'll follow over into the next stock. Uh, I believe one back throw from Inkling should wrap up this stock here, but Lady is oh, hanging absolutely. onto this ledge for dear life. All right, nice follow up there. Yo, is he? Yo, he's dead! Wish just got a little antsy there and, and ended up running right into the dancing blade. Yo, he's sitting on his tournament stock right now. Yep. All right. Wishes get another ninth place in another tournament. We'll see, see. The, the thing is here with this, right, is that Inkling back air will kill at this point. Um, you can kill with roller confirms, wow. etc. But your stray hits are not going to do anything. Your grab is not going to kill at this point. Uh, see, even weak hit of back air is not killing. Yeah, that's the thing. You sacrifice a lot of kill power. And it, 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 it's such a detriment. Wish has also been giving up stage of control quite a bit. Yo! He lands that fall. Oh my god, there. dude. At like 90, I believe one more Nair at ledge should actually take it. Okay, okay, that's good. There we go. Miss input right. They're going to get it. And the little woomy taunt. <laughs> <laughs> He's psyching himself up, man. This is tough, though. He cannot put himself at, at the edge of the stage anymore. Lade has been killing so consistently with this dan these dancing blades. Not only that, but Lade can play back now, so as long as he's not too aggressive with throwing out these hitboxes, he can absolutely keep away and trade away Inkling while Inkling just tries to make up for the deficit in damage oh right now. Oh my god, that's so close! And Off stage, yep, he's going to try and go for the dare again to cover the recovery. Yeah. And unless Inkling lands a roller, um, Lade is going to be one to kill first, not it Wishes. So that Wishes has got to find something. that back here, that was insane. This is looking <gasps> really dicey. This is scary because now Wishes is kind of on the back foot and yep. can't, can't afford nice. to trade anymore. Actually goes for the jab there. You typically want the rapid oh. jab for the ink. There it is. There we go. Okay. All right. Cool. Nice. All right. All right. Managed we to get the sour it. spot. This is actually putting Wishes in a great position right here. Not opting this splat bomb this right there. This is anybody's game at this point. Let's see if Wishes can put one on the board. <gasps> we go. Oh, the he landing. Lands into it. Oh, my God. Okay. Dangerous spot to be. Oh, I my God. Goes away off of the weak hit on the fair. <laughs> That's it. No, He's it's not. He's living. He opened up for the fist bump, but it's not over. He thought it was over. Okay, Becker could do it. <gasps> oh, we can't. He really put his hand out. That's crazy. Oh, the up tilt actually going to take the it. stock right there. And Not lead. the forward smash, but nope. the up tilt. No zoom in, nothing. A 3-0. I, I think the DI on that up tilt was a little off as well. I think if he went for...